Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, I wanted to talk about the Yappening event and why exactly it shows pretty much the best and the worst of Halo Infinite. Let's go ahead and start with the positives. For the first time, we actually have a BTB event, which is definitely a nice change of pace, as every single event we've had up until now was all arena focused. And so I definitely do think it's a nice change of pace having a BTB event. Now the modes that they offer aren't really anything that unique, it's things we've already played before, it's Fiesta, uh, Snipers, and a new mode called Skockets, which really isn't anything too special, but it's definitely nice to have more than one mode, and of course it's just all on bigger maps and bigger teams. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this mode is the fact that you can actually use the campaign weapon variant. So the only way you could use these special weapons is by playing fragmentation and getting them in the loot caves. So you don't really get to experience all the campaign variants because of that. But thanks to this BTB Fiesta mode, the campaign variants are literally everywhere. They're on the weapon pads, the wall weapons, all that stuff. And it kind of refreshes the sandbox because we're used to using the battle rifle, you know, all these normal weapons, the default guns, for quite a while. And while these are the same weapons, you know, they do function a bit differently, which does kind of refresh in the... Uh, Halo Infinite experience in general and yeah it just makes it a lot more fun because of that. Also because of the Fiesta mode, random vehicles spawn on all weapon pads. So instead of just having your traditional Warthog or your Ghost, you can now have a tank at your base or a Banshee or a Wasp. So a lot more of the legendary vehicles like the Scorpion, the Banshee, the Wasp, the Wraith, the Rocket Hog, all those vehicles now spawn a lot more often because of this mode. And so you're actually able to experience these vehicles. And so because of that, it does make the mode a lot more enjoyable because you're actually able to use vehicles that you previously could barely use in the game. And so the entire event playlist is literally just dedicated to being fun. You know, it's just chaotic fun, overpowered weapons, overpowered or rather just powerful vehicles. It's just meant to be fun, which I think is why a lot of people do enjoy this event because it, it actually is fun. It's not just some other like land grab where you just capture zones or attrition, which is basically just a uh, slayer with a few extra steps. Now, of course, Fiesta is nothing special within itself, but it's just a nice change of pace because we actually got something that's just meant to be fun. And it does have a bit of a twist with the wall weapons being like campaign variants and all that. Now here's where I get into what I think definitely needs to be improved upon and I feel like this is like the most obvious one, which I don't even know how they managed to screw this one up. And that's the event pass. Now look, the event pass is free, you know, you get a bunch of cool cosmetics, which is cool. So overall, I mean, it's not really a bad thing, but it's still odd that there's not a single grunt related item in here. Now, of course, the event is supposed to be like a bunch of goofy stuff. I think it's fine to have a few goofy things like the banana charm and stuff like that. But you know, this whole event is about a grunt called Yap Yap. You would think they would at least have a few items in there that are related to a grunt. And so I actually have a few items here that I think they could have included into this event pass. Unfortunately, most of these cosmetics were sold in the shop. But regardless, uh, you know, we should have had something similar to these items that I'm going to show you guys right now. So the first cosmetic is what I think we should have gotten. At least one of the tiers should have been like a grunt mask, which we've actually seen some uh, helmet attachments that look like one. So yeah, here's the first one. And yeah, I mean, it just... Something like this, some kind of like rebreather kind of thing or whatever they're called, uh, would have made sense to have an attachment like these. Because if you don't know, grunts wear these like masks, and the reason they wear those mask things is because they breathe methane and they can't breathe uh, oxygen or whatever. And so if we got like some kind of attachment like that for whatever core, I don't know. Uh, I think that would have made a lot more sense. And so another missed opportunity here is having some kind of like grunt charm instead of the banana. Uh, we probably could have had like a grunt charm. It could have literally been a charm of like Yap Yap himself. Or it could have just been some grunt charms that we've already seen. Although these have been in the shop. But uh, you know the idea is still there. We should have had some kind of like grunt charm I think in my opinion. And so here's a few examples. So this is the grunt with the leak. Uh, you know something like that. I don't know would have made more sense. And here's another grunt charm. Which I think this would have been the absolute perfect one. Which is the grunt running away pretty much scared out of his mind and yeah that would have been that would have made a lot more sense if we had uh, some kind of grunt charm like these examples that I've shown here so another thing with the event pass is the final tier which is a kill effect that you get it's called the entropy of spring 
And I mean, just look at it. Does that look grunt related at all? It's literally just like a bunny. I don't know. It's like a bunny or a rabbit. Uh, a fox, maybe? I don't know. It shows like uh, random animals, it seems like. And look, I get it. You know, some items can be goofy, but I'm just trying to give feedback here. I think we should have had some goofy items and then also some grunt related items is my uh, take here. And uh, personally, what I think they should have done for the kill effect is use the actual confetti one because this has been found in the game. It's called the party favor and it's literally just a confetti uh, kill effect. The one we've seen in reach, uh, the one we see in campaign when you shoot grunts in the head. It's literally that one, and I think that would have made a lot more sense. But uh, yeah, I definitely do think we should have had a few more grunt-related items in there. Now, of course, all of it is free, so you know, whatever, I'll take it. But um, it is just a little odd seeing things that aren't really related to a grunt at all. So while playing this event, you know, it was nice being able to actually use a lot more vehicles and stuff. And I think that just kind of shines a light on how terrible btb is with its vehicles and i feel like btb you know the heart and soul of btb i feel like is the vehicles you know that's the reason why people like playing the bigger scale modes because you get to use like more powerful vehicles and and yeah i mean in general you just get to use more vehicles and stuff and it's just more fun that way so the default btb we have in infinite right now is pretty bad when it comes to vehicles really only the vehicles you get to use are the warthog the mongoose and the ghost at times you hardly ever get to see the chopper or the rocket hog, the scorpion, the wraith, the banshee, the wasps. Those are even more rare. Uh, those are just like almost impossible to find. Even when they get dropped off by the pelican, you know, everyone's fighting for it. And at least to my experience, literally while everyone's fighting for that scorpion tank that got dropped off, gets destroyed in the progress of people like fighting over it. So then it's like no one gets to use it. And it's just extremely rare, and I think it's unfortunate that a lot of the vehicles you barely get to use because of because of this pelican system that they have, where the only way you could get these vehicles is by pelican drop. And yeah, it pretty much just shows how awful BTB is when it comes to its vehicles, because you really don't get to use anything other than the warthog. So I would love to see like a classic BTB mode where you can actually get a tank at, at your spawn, you know, on your side of the base or whatever. Um, and it's just unfortunate that you barely get to use any of those uh, more powerful vehicles. And so yeah, Fiesta, or rather this event, just pretty much shined a light on that. Now this might be more of a nitpick. So another thing I want to talk about the vehicles is the fact that on Breaker, the Scorpion and the Wraith, the Wasp and the Banshee, you could clearly tell that that map was not designed to have any of those vehicles, which I think is a little odd. And I honestly just came to a realization that you don't ever see any of those vehicles and that just goes back to my point where it's mostly just a warthog and all that so when you get the scorpion on this map or the wraith you can't even get to the other side <laughs> i'll take it although can the scorpion even do much on this map can we even fit through here dude the scorpion's not even designed for this map look at this what no wonder this map never gets tanks or anything what the hell, man? Are you serious right now? No way. No way they literally designed it so scorpions and all that could not be used. That's insane. With the Wraith, you can because because of the boost mechanic, but it's like super glitchy when you go through the freaking tunnel. You get like some weird camera angle. Now, you actually could just boost jump to the other side, so the Wraith does seem a little more appropriate. And the scorpion, like I said, you literally just can't go through you just can't go through the tunnel at all i literally have uh i actually have gameplay of it and you just can't go through the tunnel so for the banshee and the wasp i also realized that there's like so many invisible walls and it's hard to actually kind of navigate sometimes with the aircraft vehicles just because just because of those invisible walls it, you feel like very restricted i don't know it just feels very limited it's hard to kind of maneuver sometimes and this goes for pretty much all the maps other than i guess deadlock on fragmentation you got like a bunch of like uh i guess canyons or mountains i don't know what you want to call them that you can't even go over sometimes and i don't know it just feels you just feel kind of limited although not as much as on breaker on breaker there's like a literal freaking invisible wall in the center of the map because of like that where the laser goes like the laser path the path of the freaking laser there's like an invisible wall for that and so sometimes i would crash into that 
and damage my vehicle so it was just super weird and then there's just like certain debris that you can't fly over which is just odd as well and also that little center part also that little center part where the laser starts uh in that little room where people kind of battle it out you can't freaking fly in there or fly over and kind of shoot them from you know above and so that was also really weird and that map was just clearly not designed for any other vehicles than the freaking warthog and you know the smaller vehicles which i just found i just find that really odd because it's clear it has a pretty big skybox and the tunnel almost looks big enough for the scorpion to fit in it so it's just a little odd i don't know i feel like they could have definitely made made like the skybox or whatever you want to call it you know get rid of some of the invisible walls allow you to kind of move around a bit more freely and same with the tunnel uh they could have made it a bit bigger and literally the scorpion would have been able to fit in it's just really odd especially with the banshee going at like super speed because i think the banshee is faster than it's ever been in any other halo games because it's supposed to be like a uh a dive and bomb kind of aircraft i don't know how to really describe it but you pretty much just like bomb a place and then you just like evade quickly and stuff like that you know that's what banshees are known for and they kind of emphasize that more on halo infinite because the banshee i believe they did up upgrade or rather update the speed and made it a lot faster compared to previous halos it feels like anyways and so when you got all these invisible walls and stuff it just doesn't feel smooth now with the wasp of course it is a lot easier because you can actually control that a lot easier uh but you know there's still those issues are still there so i hope they kind of like get rid of some of these invisible walls to make it feel less uh i guess crowded you could say or less limited i actually remember during the flights on bazaar the map bazaar people would use the grapple hook they would get mad because you wouldn't be able to kind of like fly upward you know because there was like an invisible wall at the top that would block you from flying from flying up too high with the grapple and so they actually did expand that barrier a bit more and i think they should do the same with that on the btb maps so another issue i had with this event which is more of a core game issue and that's the challenge system the challenge system man dude that thing really needs a huge overhaul i mean i think the event system in general just needs an overhaul but it was such a pain freaking having to go through regular challenges just so i could get an event challenge you know i don't want to play team slayer just to freaking get an event challenge i you know i get on to play the yappening uh you know i don't want to play slayer i'm on to play the yappening that's the whole point of an event you know you're there to play the event but when you complete a certain amount of event challenges eventually you get to a point where you freaking just get regular challenges and you have to do those regular challenges in order to get more event challenges and i just really found that annoying and then of course you got like the usual desync and all that stuff but i mean that stuff is just pretty much a given when you're playing infinite that happens everywhere but that about wraps up my review of the yapping event overall i think it is a nice change of pace um you know they kind of try to change up the event a bit um, and overall, yeah, it's a, it's a small improvement, but I just don't think it's really saying much because the events themselves are already pretty lackluster in my opinion. Because after all, I mean, it is just BTB Fiesta. Even if it was fun, even if I did enjoy it, I mean, it's really not saying much when it's just Fiesta. Anyways, guys, consider subscribing and hitting that like button as it shows your support. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to stay up to date with Halo content as well. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.